So in the last video, we talked about the basics of using our Google Drive. Our Google Drive is where we store our files. If you ever want to delete um, you know, a file that you're working on, you just click on it and then you to highlight it, and then you right click, and then you scroll down to remove, and then it's gone, just like that. If you, so let's talk about using Google Sheets or um, Excel. It doesn't matter what you're using, um, they pretty much do the same thing, but let's stick with Google Sheets. Um, so let's go on our drive, let's hit plus the new, um, click on that, go down to Google Sheets. This is awesome, it deals with um, numbers, charts, stuff like that. So let's open our document and let's give our spreadsheet a name, let's call it uh, uh, very let's call it first spreadsheet this thing is called a spreadsheet it's where we have there are rows rows go horizontal row one row two row three row four columns apparently they don't like calling the columns numbers I don't know why but here's column uh, a column B column 3 C column 4 D um, column 5 E 1 2 3 4 5 okay you get the picture if you want to change, I think it's like R1C. Okay, at any rate, this is a spreadsheet. Now, a spreadsheet is good for charts. So let's talk about charts. Independent variable goes here. Independent variable comes first. Independent variable. Variable comes first. Our dependent variable always comes second. Dependent variable. This is common. As soon as you get a document, your dependent variable is going to be the second column. And so your dependent variable is associated with your y-axis. So your independent variable, you know, is your x-axis. Your dependent variable is what you're looking at. It's dependent upon your, so it's, it's that y one. It's the one that you're focused in on, the, the vertical one. Um, a, a lot of times you'll have, you know, one independent variable, but a bunch of charts that you're looking at. So you're going to have a bunch of dependent variables. You're going to have a bunch you're looking at along one independent variable. So that's the um, setup. But your independent variable always comes first. That's your x-axis one. So what I want you to do is I want you just to type um, type some numbers in. Type 1. Um, on this cell, type 2. Uh, on this one, the one below, go to 3. I'm just clicking down arrow, 4, down arrow, 5, down arrow, 6. Okay, so on and so forth. This is the awesome part of using Google Sheets. I want you to click on this cell right here. Click on that cell. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to click on this cell again, drag it all the way down to six. This, this number, this cell was six. I want you to release on this cell right here, release. Okay, so now it's kind of locked in on those um, equations there. It's just adding one to everyone. So now what I want you to do is I want you to, um, here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that way you can just see it a little bit better. Notice if I go around here, my uh, I have that little arrow, and then all of a sudden here I get that little plus. When you see that little plus in the corner, I want you to click once, drag down, click and hold. You're, you're holding, 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 holding all the way it doesn't matter where and then release okay so it went all the way down to 26 so the number 26 notice it just added one to everything we did that is awesome that it does that so it kind of understands sequences that you want to do um so now let's look at our dependent variable let's just say um you know our dependent variable was a, a function you know f of x is equal to x squared so what i mean by that is you know, and this is computer language. Remember how we were doing that exponent thing in our um, Google Docs? It would go X and it, the two would be up top. But to, for this to understand that it's squaring it, that two is like it's imagined to be up top, that's the symbol we want to use, that caret symbol. You, to get that caret symbol, all you do is you type in shift six, and that's how you get that caret symbol. So if this was going to be one, and you don't have to write this column in right here. This would be f of 1, because that's the number 1 there, which is equal to 1 squared, which is equal to 1 times 1. In other words, you know that star looking symbol. So I'm going shift 8, which is equal to 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. Now let's go to f of 2. f of 2, because I'm getting it from here, 
is equal to 2 squared. Because everywhere I see an x, I'm just replacing it with the number 2 from right here. I'm replacing it with the number 2. And then it's being squared, so I have 2 squared equals 2 times, how many 2's do I have? 2. Um, 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. f of 3, I'm getting 3 right here, equals 3. Everywhere I see an x, it's now a 3. 3 squared, which is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. f of 4 is equal to 4 squared, which is equal to 4 times 4, which is equal to 16, and so on and so forth. Um, so that takes a while. What the beauty is of um, using spreadsheet is that you can quickly take this independent variable and just spit out the output right away. So what the way you do that is that you click on the cell, you double click, so it's flashing on that uh, left side. So it's flashing on that left of that cell. So, and then what you want to do is you want to click equals. And then you click on this cell right here. So it says this cell, this A2 is really, that A2 is signifying, hey, number, you're number one. But that's the cell. I'm calling the cell A2. So this cell is the number one. I'm just taking the number one and I'm squaring it. So I'm going to hit shift six. I'm squaring it. Get that carrot. I'm squaring it. So I write two because it's squared. And then I just click enter. Then it's one because one times one is one. All I did was I clicked enter. Now what I want you to do, I want you to click on that cell again. And notice, so there's that little plus symbol if I go to the lower right again so I go to that thing and I take it and I click once I drag that thing down it doesn't matter matter really where I end and then I release and then so it's taking all these values and it's just squaring it so it's going 17 times 17 so it's 289 so I notice instead of doing it the long way 4 times 4 is 16 it just does it for us so it's spitting out all these numbers isn't that slick so and that is the basic idea of, you know, functions in Excel. Again, times is, would be that star looking symbol. And then, you know, exponents is that, uh, that carrot. Um, adding and subtracting are just plus and, you know, you've you got your minus symbols over there. So nothing fancy there to it. Division is a backslash. So if you're going like um, equals three halves, um, that's the backslash symbol. Um and then actually forward slash it's the forward slash symbol i always get those mixed up it's the forward slash symbol backslash is going this way that doesn't even look right um so it's the forward slash symbol because he's leaning forward imagine this guy's leaning forward those are his legs okay at any rate so that is basics now let's talk about charts all right click on the independent variable click once do not release your thumb from it Go all the way down here. Actually, okay, before that, if you want to delete anything in this video, if you want to delete a cell or a bunch of cells, you click and highlight them and then you click delete. But so I, and, the, and it's gone. So if you want to make a chart, all I am doing is I'm clicking here and I'm scrolling down to here. And then I go to um, insert and then I want to make a chart. So I go to insert chart and then Look at this beautiful chart that we just made. So, and you can just click on the uh, the title and adjust the title to your liking. Um, you can call it uh, uh, position graph. You can click over here instead of calling it the dependent variable. You double click and you can call it, um, you know, position in meters because you always want to, you know, adjust your labels. Independent variable. Um, you can call it uh, time in seconds. And then so we can see that there's this kind of, um, so it's saying one, okay, here, let's let's deal with the setup again. Click setup up over here. So this is where we edit the chart. I go to setup and then I can go down to different types of charts. So I click chart type and then, so here's a scatter chart. Scatter is gonna be like dots. So let's click scatter. All right, now this is a little easier to see. So one squared is one. So this is X column one, one, two, four, 
2, comma, 4. 3, 9. 3, right here, between 2 and 4 is 3, and this goes 9 units up. 6, 36. 6, 36. Isn't that awesome? If we had another dependent variable, if we wanted to add it to it, we just highlight another variable so it, it goes all the way over here. Um, if you're wanting to start dealing with the maxes and bins along this thing, so instead, I mean, you can adjust the charts. You got bar charts, um, you got pie charts, scatter charts, a bunch of charts. Um, all right, let's click over here again. Let's go to customize this thing. All right, now this just you just want to play around with this essentially. So you have your your grids lines and ticks. You have your vertical axis. Um, let's just click on vertical axis. Let's see if there's anything good here. Um, you can really okay. You can control the min and your max. So instead of you know calling this zero, let's see here. Let's change that to ten. Let's just change this to a hundred. So now it's controlling it. It's saying, oh, you're no longer one. Now I'm going to make you 10. This is 100. So it kind of controls um, that in that way. You can also make the chart bigger here. If you're wanting to copy and paste a chart, you just highlight the whole chart. Um, you hit Control C, and then you can open up another doc, a Google Doc. And then you hit Control V, and then you click Paste. Then um, it gives you actually here. Really, you can't do that here. Let's just see this one second. If I go here and if I want to copy chart, let's copy it. And then paste. One second here. Bear with me. Okay, I don't know why it's why it, it does this, but you can't control C, control V. You have to click here and then you want to go to copy chart. So click copy chart and then you can open up your, your, your document and then hit control V and then, you know, it pastes it. So it's, it's kind of finicky in that way. It's, it's finicky in a lot of ways as far as, you know, dealing with the um, major um, grid lines and stuff like that. So, but that is the essential idea. You can control the step um, as far as um, spacing goes, but this is the essential idea of how you use a chart. Again, your independent variable is here. Your dependent variable is here. Always include your units and you should be good to go. So we want this chart to be gone. So let's click on the chart. Let's click delete. Now let's do some other fun stuff. So let's say we were going to, um, you know, we wanted to add a bunch of numbers together. So let's say we took the number um, 10, let's say uh, 50, and let's make it 2,000. So if we were going to add all these numbers together, yeah, it's um, 2,000 plus, you know, we have 60, so this would be 2,060. The word for adding is sum. So let's call this um, sum right here. And in order to add, all we do is we sum. So we type equals, and then we go sum. And then here's my little sum command right here. Um, so I click on that, and then it goes. So what we want to do is we want to take these values here. I click once, 10, and then I drag all the way down to 2,000. I do not release my thumb until I'm at 2,000. I release, um, right parenthesis, click enter, it's going to add all of those numbers together. And what's cool about it is if I change one of the numbers, it just says, oh, it will give me that sum right here. So it goes back and says 20 plus 50 is 70. So it can do that. Um, another common thing to that you will see is average. So this average is so important. So if you're going to think of um, the average between, um, you know, 10 and 1,000, you know, well, the average between, you know, just 1,000 and zero is going to be 500. So it's going to be a little bit more than 500. So we're going to write equals um, average. Let's see if anything comes up. Here's average. Okay, average. So I click an average. And then I can go and click on this cell. Scroll down. Release. Right parenthesis. Enter. And then it says average, 505. So, and that is how um, you can use 
Google Sheets to your 